Okay, we're gonna do a guitar rundown. So this is my Agile 727 Ocean Burst. I got this off of like the, uh, what is that, the Rondo, Rondo Music, Agile, I, I guess that's Agile's website, I, I don't know. But it came completely stock and I have quite a bit of work done to this. So it's a maple neck, mahogany body. It came with two pickups. I don't even. It came with whatever stock pickups Agile comes with. One volume, one tone, and then it came with a pickup selector, which I had removed. I don't even. I think these are just Grover tuners. Yeah, they're Grover, just regular ass tuners. But we'll start with what I got all done to it. So I had him slightly relic and sand the entire body. So only only some. It's like semi gloss on the on the entire thing. But I will, I love that Kiesel look. I had him do a sand down and arm bevel for me and then slightly stain it just a little bit to give it that three tone Kiesel look and it's really comfortable to play. I guess the guy I'm talking about is Matt Swansea from Craig's Music in Weatherford, Texas. My guy, I'm taking three guitars to him, four guitars actually, including the bass. Every, he just, he does everything flawlessly, sets up everything, gives us our custom, uh, String gauges, everything like that. So, as far as the neck, I always sand out all my necks because we get sweaty playing around on stage and hands don't stick. It's not like I'm a fast player or anything. Neck through body, um, couldn't even tell you what those woods are on the back. Then, I had him take out my uh, my neck pickup. Never used it. I can just roll off the, the tone knob if I need any, you know, bassy stuff out of it. I don't know. Just put a block of wood in there and then he stained it to match the same thing as that. If anyone knows, I am a sucker for this bottom corner because in all honesty, I cannot stand double cutaways. I think they are the most boring guitar shape. Every guitar, every majority of guitarists and, and guitars that are used in our heavy genre are double cutaways and because I, I don't know why. I love MLs, I love Les Pauls, I love Tellys mainly, but so I always have my bottom horn messed with. So this one, I didn't cut it completely off like my LTD, but I had them sand and put a little stain on it, sand it down right there a little bit. So I ended up getting, I don't even know what pickups were in this to begin with, but whatever was stock and they sounded awful. So I highly suggest getting a Fishman pickup. These are the Fishman Classic Zebra. I have them. I ordered this guy and then the cool thing about it is that they have a bunch of voicings. I'm not sure what that even means. They have a bunch of voicings but what I ended up doing was whenever my tone knob is pushed down I'm getting a regular 9 volt but whenever I pull it up it goes to 18 volts and it gives me a little extra kick and a little bit of extra grit and gain and it's it's not a huge difference but it's definitely a difference and i can i can hear it in my pick attack i can hear it in my pick attack and then i can hear it on the um the extra chunky slow <laughs> slow chugs and then so that's that's one of the coolest features i've never seen a guitar have that before to go from 9 volt to 18 volt it's really neat and then i had them install a kill switch that actually lights up just to just to flex just to flex on people it's it's pretty neat but i ended up ordering this switch it doesn't press in it, it it was it was already broke as soon as it showed up this is my main guy i already got some wire and tear from the buckle hitting it i guess i don't know but this is the main guy sounds absolutely incredible if you get an agile i know they're extremely affordable but you definitely need to upgrade the pickups on it and just throw a little bit of love in on them. Get them set up, professionally set up. And the one issue I have had with it is string ring. That's why I got my, my muter right there. So since these are so long on this side of the headstock, it's the reverse headstock, so your low end strings, get to, they tend to ring out a little bit more than you would like. So other than that, it's, perfect and I like it a lot. I wouldn't buy another one 
unless they start making like a telly seven string. I'd really like to find like a fan fret telly, like seven string, I don't know. But this one's like 27 inch scale. It's a little too big for me. I kind of like it more in like the 26 scale. Just feels like you're playing a bass. So, 